What is going on my fellow YouTubers, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today coming with the unboxing and review of another generic power bank that I got from DHK.com and this time the seller is iBaby888. If you guys saw my video about three weeks ago, I did unbox and review this model which I use with my 4Runner and it is tremendous. It has great qualities. It is working perfectly well and after I charged it about uh, two weeks and a half ago, it still has the full charge. So yes, they don't drain as I thought they would. So this is definitely great. And again, this one is working perfectly well. As a matter of fact, this is the one that I have inside of my vehicle in case something happens. Now, I decided to get this model because this one carries 58,000 plus milliamps and it's about the same size according to the case. Now, they are made by different manufacturers because the locks are not the same, even though they look quite similar. Opening the case on the new model from iBaby, we're going to find a very similar setup to what we saw on the one that I got from Amazon Prime. So, the only exception here is that the design physically is a little bit different. This one is yellow and black and also the colors are distributed a little bit different as well, as we can tell. So getting this out, we're going to see all the stuff that we find here, at least on the side already. We got four USB ports versus the previous one. We only have one USB port and pretty much everything else is about the same, um, except that it is the opposite way, as we can tell. So on the left hand side here, we got the voltage for your laptop. This is in case uh, you need 19 volts, 16 volts or 12 volts. You can set it up with this button here, very similar to the other one. Also, we have a battery indicator. Again, we had the four USB ports, we got the charging port, the on and off switch, and your uh, engine starter port. So yes, everything is very similar, and size-wise they are very similar, with the exception that this one is a lot lighter. So this is giving me the indication that uh, this is a true 58,000 power milliamps, and also it's lasting me a long time. So far I was able to charge my Samsung Galaxy S7 about four times, and it's still in a full charge, and I also was able to jumpstart my vehicle, and it's still at a full charge. Very, very impressive. So let's go ahead and take here a better look at it on the left hand side if you want to call it We got here some lights We find the regular white one We also have a blue and red and to get them on is very simple First of all, you have to turn on your unit after this you're going to see the battery indicator right now Mine is completely full and to get it started All you have to do is just hold and press it and it's going to turn on the white light if you want uh, some strobes on here All you have to do is just press it once and if you want it just uh, regular flashing, all you have to do is just press it once more. And then to turn it off, you hold and press it for about two seconds and it'll go off. Now to turn on the other lights, you have to double tap it. So let me see, there we go, that worked. If you double, uh, if you single tap it once more, it'll go in a little faster mode as you guys can see. Now this is very cool because it looks uh, very similar to your cop LED lights. And I find it to be very attractive. I guess that it will catch much more attention than the previous model that I got here. Now this one, let me show you what it does because I couldn't provide that sample on the previous video. If you turn it on, let me show you that this one is still fully charged. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's check the battery indicator. Right now it's currently full. So if you hold and press it for about two seconds, it'll turn on the white light. If you hold and press it for about two more seconds, it'll go off. If you double press it, It'll turn on the uh, red LED light, but that's about it. If you press it once more, it'll go a little bit faster, but not too much faster. And then if you double press it again, it'll go off. So, I mean, the idea here is very similar, guys, but I think that this one looks much more attractive. And yes, I know you are paying more, but you are getting more, so I think it's definitely worth it. So now let me go ahead and set up this one aside, and now let's go ahead and check what else comes inside of the box. On the accessory side, the first thing we got here is the manuals. They are quite generic. As a matter of fact, they are very similar to the previous ones. And we can see there that even the design is not the same as the design that I have right now. So yes, this is definitely generic. Now, this thing is so simple to use, guys, that you really can pretty much have common sense and use it yourself. I mean, there's not much that you need to know on here. Uh, the only thing that you actually need to do is just turn it on on the side here. And then if you want to use your jump starter uh, wires, all you have to do after being connected, you must press this button because if the lights are not on, that means that this is going to be on standby mode and it's not going to work. Just keep that in mind. And that's pretty much it. I mean, everything else is very self-explanatory. And if you want to use this for different voltage, like I said before, you have to just press it until you find the right voltage. So there's not really a lot of science. So I really don't think that you need the manuals for anything. Next, we have here the wall charger. And if you guys saw the video for this one here, it came with a European charger, I believe. I, I can't recall, but I know it came with a unsupported charger. 
and this one is uh, 12.6 volts okay so it's going to charge your battery quite rapidly it's very simple and it looks generic to me so everything inside here is going to be for, for the most part generic and uh, also we got here some of the connectors to charge your laptop in my case this is the one that I use and it was working perfectly well now some of them are different from the previous model so that's cool because they used exactly the uh, same connection here so if I need one from the other side I can just grab it and then put it back on there so that's uh, definitely great since I have two of them but yes they come with about let me see three six about uh, I would say eight of them and again that's very neat to have Next we have here a very cool USB adapter. As you can see, this is the one connecting to your battery. And then we have a multi-plug here. We got one for the new generation of the iPhone. This is after the iPhone 5. Uh, we have here a regular USB port. Okay, we got the old style iPhone port. I believe this is a 30 pin connector. And this is the 8 pin connector. And then we got the micro USB port. So yes, you're getting this included with your purchase, which is really, really neat. And I already tested it with my Samsung Galaxy S7. Like I said, I charged it about, I think it was three or four times. And this thing still has a full battery. I'm absolutely impressed. And also, if you guys haven't seen it, I already tested this with the Buick that I'm renting because my car is getting fixed. As you guys know, I was involved in an accident. So right now it's getting fixed. And I had the guts to go ahead and drain the battery on the Buick and I was able to jump start it with this one and it did very well uh, basically all you need to do is just connect these two little clamps that came included which is another accessory I was going to get into this in just a moment but I'm getting ahead of myself so you grab this you plug it in here on the side then you connect it to your terminals then you turn it on make sure that it is off while you're completing this because if you connect something wrong you can short it out uh, and then after everything is properly connected you go ahead and uh, turn it on and then you press the button like I said before and you're good to go. So the process is very very simple guys and again I am super grateful that this thing is so cool and at a very affordable price and also the clamps um, on this one seems to be a lot uh, sturdier than the previous model that I received from Amazon. Um, I believe that it has a lot more force into the little spring here on the bottom side which is really really neat. Okay, so with this being said, let's go ahead and check the other accessories. We have a car charger. This is uh, a 12 volt one as well. So you have to do connect it to your lighter and plug it into your battery. Now in my case, or in my experience with the previous one, I haven't been able to, um, or I haven't had to charge it in the past three weeks. So I'm assuming that this one is going to maybe last a few months before having to charge it. Um, also we got here a uh, adapter. This is for your laptop. You will connect this on this side or this port the one that says I'm um, sorry this is the one that says output make sure that you connect it correctly and then after you do so you find the plug that you need in my case I have the MSI laptop you plug it in you connect it on the back side and voila that's all you have to do you plug it in make sure that you select the proper voltage for it and you should be done and set to go okay and then inside here we have a little quality sticker meaning that they checked it and that it passed all the certifications and stuff. Okay, and now that we saw all the functionalities on this little battery, let me go ahead and compare it uh, weight-wise with the previous model. Let me just get this out of the way since we already saw all the accessories. I'm just going to set it up here and then we're going to use my little weight scale just to compare so that way you guys have an idea of, uh, you know, what's the weight on each one of them. So... I think it's in units now. Let me see if this thing is working. There we go. We have it in grams. So let me place the new one from, let's see why is this saying? There we go. Zero. Let me place it on top. And this one is about 411 grams. Quite heavy. It's about the weight of two smartphones together. And this one here is about 347 grams so yes i mean if you guys ask me i think this one is definitely great it's going to serve you for many different purposes and if you guys want to save a few dollars then you can go with the one from amazon this one came from ibaby888 on dhk.com but i also believe that they are selling it on amazon as well unfortunately i don't have the link provided on the description below but you can do your own search so with this being said if you guys have any questions as always don't forget to leave your comment below Please like this video if you find it helpful, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next one.